Good afternoon and happy Critter Meal Time. Saturday, 13 April, 2024. I'm Tam Stanardi, teacher of hers of Seattle, and this is my YouTube channel, Tam Stanardi. Here's the deck space, and there's a beauty. Hi, baby beauty. Come on, baby beauty. Uh oh. Oh, look at this is Ponderosa. A lovely day. I did my walk run in the morning and it was 49 degrees Fahrenheit at the end. Here's Long Nose. Here's Long Nose. Oh, hey, beautiful girl. Any? Oh, we got a chickadee. Oh, chickie! Look at that chickadee. How oh, off fast. Black capped chickadee. We also have the chestnut back. Beautiful. Oh, come on, you wanna come out? Come on. Hi, baby. Oh, there it hops. Oh, wait. I didn't get on camera though. There's some beautiful pink flowers in bloom. Yeah, it's a black cap chickadee. It's over in one of those trees now. Hi, little Scarly. Hi, baby. We got some young uns out. Oh, what's the bird we got in there? Let's get some of the grub. We got some peanut heads. And there's a crow. Oh, here we go. Hi, Lola. Oh. So there's an American crow. Two aviary species so far. On camera. Here we go. I've been doing well with my sleep and I've been doing, trying to figure out sleeping with my, because my phone is super sensitive on charging. I used to charge it during, like I'd sleep, sleep with it near me. And so now it's on my, on my desk. I've done that two nights. I did that two nights in a row. And then last night I switched it up and slept where it, with it where I had been having it when I slept, but I charged it before I went to bed. So I've been doing that, but I've been getting good sleep, even with that. Um, it reminded me, not the technology problems, but I had, I had this friend, oh, bunny rabbit. Hi, baby. Hi, beautiful. There's stuff for you if you want some. Okay, yeah. There, there's a bunch of little squirrels around these days. They they produce the offspring, and the offspring are big enough to come out. Um. Anyway, I had this friend Shun who had this girlfriend Ayaka, and he got really taken with her. And like you know, after their first time meeting, he was like, you know, this might be the one. I might marry the girl and stuff. And he kind of like evened out after that. Um, but uh, I remember. I was, I went to do some field work and I stayed with him on Oahu, because he lived on Oahu in Honolulu, and when I was there, she called and was talking, like, as we were, like, packing to do our, um, for, to go to Kauai, and, uh, so she called, and she had a, she was Japanese, so they spoke a bunch of Japanese, because he, he was from Japan, but moved to Hawaii when he was seven, um, and uh later hey where are you going come on come on come on 
it sounded like she turned out to be a bit of a handful and she would call at odd hours and you know have, have stuff going on where that would kind of disrupt his sleep patterns and call a lot you know and that kind of a um that kind of type you know the, uh what was uh, a different friend of mine was like posting on instagram stuff and like, like would they were trying to classify different female types and there was the sweet but psycho type you know where they present themselves as really uh you know skinny or fashionable and like really cute that's part of their act uh, and they may or may not sexualize everything including their food but then they end up being kind of psychos and she kind of came across as that way and i was like um it kind of reminded me of that because that was something he had Kind of alluded to was he didn't sleep well because this lady was bothering him like that he was dating um but i was like some people ask in swimming or in sports why people aren't performing so well and i was like maybe caleb dressel and megan dressel are like shun and ayaka and maybe russell wilson got let go from was it the denver broncos because ciara was acting a lot like ayaka and the shun ayaka relationship and he couldn't ever get back to good performance because she was bothering him so much. So I think Michael Phelps and Nicole Johnson were very much so socially that was how they were propagated, but they're like, you know, it's different when it's one's friend. So Shen and Ayaka, um, right? And being like having real life, right? We're, we're trying to get ready and she calls and occupies friend time. Um, or it takes away from preparations kind of stuff. Yeah. So there you go. Story time. Are right, you guys dinner served? Ding, 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 ding. But are 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 high profile couples really that common? Yeah, that's a pretty common relationship type. Is it? Uh, it exists with common people. I know that. Um, Shun was very much like he's a common person, type person. person. A junko yesterday. So there's a dark eyed junko and a, a chickadee just flew off. So recently, not today, before today, but in the past couple days, it was two nights ago. A junko was in this on the side of the feeder and its foot got stuck in the wire mesh. And I saw it in my window and I came down. Hi, cutie. It's trying to get to you. It's okay, you can come back. <laughs> You're cute. We all want you to know that. There's Mello again. It's okay, it's okay. Do you want a smaller one? Smaller one? I feel like, but I want all of the peanuts, man. Oh, it's all or nothing and I want everything and I can only carry one. What is this? And so, it, but it was stuck up there. And so what I ended up doing was I tried to get its foot unstuck, but it wasn't working. So I took my hand and I put it under the bird to lift the bird up to see if I could get the foot out and it got its foot out and it flew off. So there we go. I saved a dark a dark eyed Junko's life. Yeah. All right, happy critter meal time, happy story time, happy daytime of eating to you whenever you're doing this, and happy place of eating wherever you bring this from.